Welcome back everyone. Many people celebrate the holidays with some alcohol, but it's also a time of year when many drink beyond their limits. So if you or a loved one has had issues or struggles with alcohol, the new year is a good time to start off on a healthier note. Dr. George Koob is the director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism and joins us to weigh in on this topic. Good morning, Dr. Koob. What are some possible signs of an alcohol related problem that may have surfaced over the holidays? Good morning. Well, one of the most sensitive signs is that there's impairment with social interaction and that can be family, friends or, or uh, co-workers. And, and, and the second sign is that when you're not drinking that there is sort of malaise kicks in and this can be, you know, anything from a hangover uh, the next morning to, you know, sleep problems that seem to be persisting, uh, digestive problems, you know, disruption of your exercise program, uh, uh, kind of a chronic irritability. All of these are signs and symptoms that often come on early on um, from uh, overindulgence. One thing I, I know that you're suggesting is to take part in a dry January. Maybe you can uh, tell us about that. Well, the dry January is a phenomenon that's uh, basically uh, evolved and, and starting to catch on in the United States. It, 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 it basically means that you don't drink for uh, the month of January. And I think the, uh, the advantage to this approach is that it allows you to reevaluate your relationship with alcohol. So if all the symptoms that I just mentioned uh, start to disappear um, and you're sleeping better and you, you know, you're reinvigorated for work and you're uh, excited about getting to work and getting there on time and things are improving with your interactions with family and friends. I mean, your body is trying to tell you something. Mm -hmm. uh, doctor, this year the NIAAA is celebrating its 50th anniversary. How has it helped advance our understanding of alcohol and addiction? Well, the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism is basically provided over the last 50 years evidence-based information on the diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of alcohol use disorders. I mean, some of the practical manifestations of that are we have a website called Rethinking Drinking where you can get a lot of the information that you and I have been talking about. Another is that we have the NIAAA Treatment Navigator, which is a, um, a, a, a website where you can go and find out what an alcohol use disorder is um, the spectrum of an alcohol use disorder, what are the treatments available, and you can actually, you know, put in your zip code and find uh, with a locator where uh, such facilities are in your area. Thank you so, so much, I Dr. Mean, Coop. We, oh, go ahead, please, finish. No, I was just going to say, you know, so we've, we're the largest funder of alcohol research in the world, and, you know, I think all of these things are starting to translate into help for for our citizens. Thank you so much, Dr. Koob. We appreciate uh, all the, the, the good information and we'll be leaving our viewers with that information as well. Have a great new year. All right, everybody, we'll take a break and be right back.